Nice. Nice number. Is that our final gem count? Oh, wait, wait, what? You can't see that? Hmm. Maybe you'll have to wait a little bit more for that. Anyway, guys, enjoy watching. Yo, yo, yo! This is Solo, also known as SPL Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt. Yeah, and his team's called Grunt. And this is Pokemon Masters EX. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that little intro. As you might have noticed, I'm starting to place little intros in front of my videos just to capture your attention or something. And this is our gem count video for the month of January 2022. Now, Honestly, there are so many events. This video is like one of the longest gem count videos I have ever done. And if you have seen my, uh, you know, behind the scenes for this one, you know how hard it is to make these types of videos. So I would appreciate it if, like always, you would shower this with a lot of love. Hit the thumbs up button right now as, you know, that little thumbs up, that little click or tap. As you see as you like to hear goes a long way in helping out this channel and gets this video exposed to other pokemon masters fans like you guys and also do hit the subscribe button if you haven't and if you've been watching my videos for the longest time you know you're not losing anything by clicking on the subscribe button right now help us get to 10k subs because by 10k, I have so many stuff to give away from the Pokemon Center, and it might just land on your doorstep. I'm shipping internationally, but until then, this is our topic for today. So, your favorite video, how many gems can we get for the month of January 2022? Happy 2022, guys! 2021 is almost over. I'm not yet ready. This is my birth month. And if you wanna, you know, give me some love, probably become a member of my channel because January half is my birthday. And, you know, just send a super chat or something or something. No, no need to. Lots of events. Let's start with these ones. We have the Villain Event Prelude, Galactic Nightmare. We have the Story Event, New Year and new friends we have the villain event dreams of the void you know these are not complete there are so many other events but you know december has not yet ended i was honestly not expecting a data mine or a game update at this early point of december we still have a lot of events in december not really a lot but you get what i mean guys so i haven't forgotten about that we have Cyrus and Palkia, New World Dilemma, starting December 24. We have 50 gems for the story rewards, and we have Take Down Cyrus rounds 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 30 gems each. Full Force Battle rounds 1 and round 2 gives you 100 gems each for a total of 200 gems there. And if you have not yet played through the Sinclair stories of Cyrus and Palkia, you can get an additional 50 gems by playing through that for a total of 430 gems, excluding the Sync Bay rewards of this um, Legendary Adventures, as the game calls it. Also, we have December 25, we have Pokemon Masters Day, where Candice finally gets a 6-star EX form, Bryson gets a Sync Red expansion, Sophocles gets a Sync expansion, not to mention Candice. And on Pokemon Masters EX Day, or Pokemon Masters Day, we get 500 gems from the login bonus Pokemon Masters Day Pick Up Presents. We get a special battle stage, the Season of Giving, 500 gems, and a special Pika Challenge, 30 gems, for a total of 1,030 gems here. Now, a lot of login bonuses we have the Winter Wishes login bonus. If you have been playing since, you know, the beginning of December 16, it's going to be your seventh day, I think, tomorrow. So this computation, these computations are from tomorrow or later, depending on what time you're watching this, basically December 20th. 
22. Was it December 22 or 23? 22, as far as I know. This is December 22 to December 31. So, there's a day 7, day 8, day 10, day 11, day 12, day 13 for a total of 600 gems remaining for the Winter Wishes login bonus. On December 24, you get a 3,000 gem present from a flurry of gifts. And then, from December 27 to December 31, we get 300 gems for 5 days for a total of everything here of 5,100 gems. We also have some daily login or rather some missions that we have to do. So the daily login bonus gives us 450 gems per week. As far as I've computed and checked my game, we can get 700 gems from this one if you log in from December 22 to 31. And then daily missions, 80 gems a day, just finish your daily missions. You get 10 days from 22 to 31 for a total of 800 gems. And from the daily and weekly presents, you get 300 gems from those. For a subtotal, count these up, you get 1,800 gems plus the 5,100 gems you get from this one for a total of 6,900 gems from the special login bonuses of the remaining days of December and add those up, we get a remaining 8,360 gems for the remainder of December 2021. So starting tomorrow, you can still get a total of 8,360 gems until the year ends, before January. So, this is good because, as far as you might know, Cigna Suit Cynthia Renegade, or if you wanna shorten it, Renegade Cynthia, is coming out on December 27. And she's gonna be a Master Fair, and you know, you know how people get shafted with Master Fairs. That means you can have two free, technically not exactly free, but two multi pools before the year ends with the amount of gems that we will be receiving before the year ends so 8360 gems i guess that's good but let's fast forward now because you know we're talking about january so again we have these events let's begin with the villain event prelude galactic nightmare this starts on december 27 ends on january 12 from the story rewards you get 10 gems and then from the battle rewards, you get 120 gems. Finish all the missions, you get 700 gems here. And add those all up, you get a total of 830 gems. Now, um, you know, this next month, or rather, we have Cygnus, or rather, Renegade Cynthia. Renegade Cynthia looks like a vampire nun something. And uh, she's going to be staying for two months so you don't have to worry about rushing to get her but two months two months we also have lucas finally in the game and uh you know lucas is a poke fair scout and then we have two new seasonals which are pretty good pretty good we have uh new year sabrina and new year's uh, volkner i'm really excited about volkner's outfit I really like their outfit at all because, you know, sleeveless vest, something like that. January 1 to January 17, one day after my birthday. Story rewards for New Year New Friends, 40 gems. We have Challenge Flint, parts 1 to 4. Really, Volkner just has to battle Flint all the time. 120 gems because 30 gems per stage. We have Daily Extreme Battle 1, 30 gems. And battle challenge rounds 1 and 2 for a total of 200 gems. Missions, finished all of them, you get 700 gems for a total of 1,090 gems from this event. Now if you're wondering how good Volkner, um, Sabrina, or you know Renegade Cynthia is, stay tuned because I'll be working on an analysis video for them. Unfortunately, because of this update, very unexpected. 
I will not be able to make an analysis video for Sony. I apologize for that, but I don't have enough time. This ate up so much time, and the analysis video is also gonna eat up much time as well. And then, we have the villain event, Dreams of the Void, January 13 to February 27. There's Challenge the Galactic Grunts Part 1. That's not a typo, zero gems. I check Absolutely's uh, Twitter page, Datamine. He confirmed that you do not get gems from Challenge the Galactic Grunts Part 1. But if that's a typo on the game's end, you can add 30 gems in this one, just give or take. But for now, there's no typo, you get zero gems from Challenge the Galactic Grunts Part 1, which is pretty weird, but okay, okay. Challenge the Galactic Grunts Part 2 and 3, 60 gems. Daily Extreme Battle 1, 30 gems. Battle Challenge Round 1 and Round 2 give you 200 gems. And finish all the missions, you get 700 gems for a total of 990 gems from the villain event, Dreams of the Void. We also have the Extreme Battle event, Team Galactic Takedown, where you fight against Saturn. This is Saturn, right? The female is Mars, right? Not really familiar with the Galactic Grunts or Galactic Admins, you know, but as far as I know, this is Saturn. The January 15 to January 30, you know, you know how difficult extreme battle events are. So if you fail to finish one of these stages, just deduct 300 gems from your gem count. But, you know, as far as I can say, we YouTubers out here will be working on you know free to play and working on other methods to help you succeed so don't forget to subscribe and again hit the thumbs up if you haven't and you know let's get to getting 600 gems together from this extreme battle event and then we have solo event apasio spectacle which really confused me earlier because it has a very similar thumbnail to another event that we will be having this month. So I had to edit a lot of times. I had to edit a lot of my slides earlier for this one, but January 24 to February 6, this is a solo event. So that means there's only one story event or story area, except, I, you know, last month or this month we had solo event for the fans i guess there's an area for um for lysia there's an event or there's an area for elessa this one i'm not sure who this area is for but 10 gems for the story area and then there's challenge team break part one two three and four there's daily extreme battle one and finish all the missions for 700 gems more for a total of 860 gems from this solo event and then we have Pokemon Masters Day once again, December 20... December 25? Give me a sec. Two seconds later. January 25. So, um, as usual, we have the Pokemon Masters Day Pika Presence login bonus. We get 500 gems for that one. We have a special battle stage where we get another 500 gems and special Pika Challenge. If I'm not mistaken, this is a co-op stage where you have to farm. You get 30 gems for this one. And also we get the Thornton Expanded Syncrid as well as 6-star EX. We get Gardenia Expanded Syncrid. We get Cheryl 6-star or rather Expanded Syncrid as well. Cheryl has been quite good as a free-to-play support unit. I'm glad that she's getting better. And with that said, by the way guys, I think for this one, I saw absolutely data mine. As usual, you get the Happy Scout 25 gem free play free to play gem multi pool for uh for a random multi pool, you know. The usual if you get shafted, you get shafted. If you don't get shafted, you're lucky. Then for people who have paid gems. For people who have paid gems, 100 paid gems, that's basically daily discount pool. 100 paid gems, one guaranteed 5-star in your multi-pool. 
So you have two different multiples you can do here. First is the Happy Scout, 25 non-paid gems for, you know, random chances of getting a 5-star or not. And then you have your discounted multi-pool where you use paid gems, 100 paid gems, to do a multi-pool where you get at least one 5-star unit. So I guess that's good because I got shafted last month with my 25 gem multi pool. So, keep that in mind, guys. And with that said, we come back to this slide. And as you might know, as I said earlier, this is not exactly complete. We have more to talk about. But for now, Villain Event Prelude Galactic Nightmare gives you 830 gems. New Year and New Friends gives you 1,090 gems. The Villain Event Dreams of the Void gives you 990 gems. Extreme Battle Event Team Galactic Takedown gives you 600 gems. Solo Event Apasio Spectacle gives you 860 gems. And Pokemon Masters Day gives you 1,030 gems. For a total of 5,400 gems from these six events. So far, not that great. Not that great. Not that great, but we have more. We have the daily event, New Year's Challenge. This happens seven days in a row. Every single day, you get to earn 100 gems by playing through this. And you also get some New Year tickets where you get to do... Uh, I, I'm not sure what you get to do. Is that a multi-pool or a guaranteed... I'm not sure exactly, but... 700 gems from this one. Don't miss a day because if you miss a day, you probably will not be able to do your multi-pool. And then next, we have the Dragon Type Gear event. Starts on January 6th, ends on J January 12th. This is a co-op event. We have Challenge Rake Parts 1 to 4, Daily Bonus Battle 1 for a total of 150 gems. From this event, we will be getting dragon type gears, three star dragon type gears here, which makes our dragon type stronger. Nice. Speaking of dragon types, Palkia, Cyrus and Palkia, is the next legendary sync pair to get a six star EX. So that's good because the game will probably give us free exchange for him, you know, legendary spirits, I think, to make him six star EX. So you don't have to probably invest champion spirits on him. Next, we have Legendary Arena Uxi, January 7 to January 20. If you have not yet played through this, you get 1,100 gems. If you have already finished this, there are event missions that you can do. Three Alola Sync Pairs, three Ghost Type Sync Pairs, three Gym Leaders to get 1,000 gems or nine, 300 gems each. And complete every one of those three, you get an additional 100 gems. But for veteran players who have finished this, you can get 1,000 gems from finishing Legendary Arena Oxy. Now, Alola. Alola Ghost. That's easy. That is Anniversary Lily. I hope you scouted for her. But she's not a gym leader, so... You know, you know the drill of Legendary Arena. We do it for you. Just, you know, so be sure you're subscribed. Watch our videos. But I'm pretty sure, you know, if you have been playing for a while, you won't exactly have a hard time with this one. Let's move on. We have the Fire and Steel Type Egg event. January 24 to February 6. The usual Challenge Passios trainers. I think there's a shiny Vulpix. I'm not sure if there's a shiny Ponyta. There's a shiny Magnemite finally. I think he's the new um, shiny here. I'm not sure if there's other ones. But 120 gems for this one. And now, out of these four, the daily event New Year's Challenge again gives you 7 days of 100 gems each. Dragon type gear event gives you 150 gems. Legendary Arena Oxy for the event missions gives you 1,000 gems and a Fire and Steel type egg event gives you 120 gems. 
add these up and you get 1,970 gems. Add this to whatever we got earlier, 5,400 gems, and we get 7,370 gems. Still not looking great. Still not. But let's move on because we have more. We have reruns of different events in the past. Reruns of events, reruns of legendary arenas, and stuff. So we have the story events, seasons, greetings, last year's New Year, Lance and New Year Lily's event, January 4 to January 17. From the story rewards, we get 40 gems. From the battle rewards, just compute all of them. Mission rewards, 600 gems. Add them all up. You get 1,080 gems from this story event rerun. Next, we have the rerun of the story event Team Skull Crash Course. And as I said earlier, this thumbnail looks very similar to the solo event that I had a hard time. I messed up earlier. And I had to spend 15 minutes trying to edit everything because of this mistake. But you know, this happens one day after my birthday. And it's Team Skull. And you know, hardest Team Skull grunt. So, Boss Guzman, Big Sis. You're forgiven. <laughs> story areas, we have a lot of story areas. 15 of them, 10 gems each story area, 150 gems. We get battle rewards, challenge team break part 1, 2, and 3. We have battle or daily extreme battle 1, battle challenge rounds 1 and 2. Finish all the missions, 900 gems. You get 1,370 gems from this story event rerun, which is pretty high. Then, we have some legendary event reruns, or should I say legendary, uh, legendary adventures. They're called that now. Starting January 4, you can play Father and Foe or Father of Foe featuring Getsis and Kyurem. 50 gems for the stories. If you haven't played through the Sync Pair stories yet, add another 50 gems. Battle rewards give you those amounts of gems for a total of 430 gems, excluding the Sync Pair stories rewards from this one. Sycamore and Xerneas give and take also gives you 430 gems from all these things. Main character and Sol Galeo, the beast that devours the sun, starts on January 24 and it gives you 190 gems. It's pretty low compared to, you know, this one and this one. It's only 190. But that's that, guys. And starting February 4, we have Hop and Zamazenta. February! This is not a February gem count. I am excluding this from my calculation. We are not counting Hop and Zamazenta in our gem count. So with that said, these are the things that we have just added. Story event seasons greetings, 1080 gems. Team Skull Crash Course, 1,370. Really quite high. Um, Getsis and Kyurem, Father of Foe, gives you 430 gems. Give and Take gives us another 430 gems. And the Beast that Devours the Sun gives us 190 gems. Howling Shield of Eternity gives us 430, but we're not including that in our count for a total of 3,000. 500 gems from this thing 3500 gems now let me just nah i don't need to recompute i've recomputed this so many times 3500 gems add to the 7370 gems that we have computed earlier we get 10870 gems we have exceeded the 10,000 mark. Finally. Is this good enough though? We'll have to see. Now, you might be asking, what about the legendary gauntlet that the game has been teasing us for the longest time? 
Um, I this was honestly the the last thing that I've been waiting for in absolutely state of mind. Now, by the way, guys, I forgot to mention that you know if you want to see the the data mine for yourself, link will be down in the description. Thank you absolutely for your hard work, and um, basically. We do not get gems. I honestly refuse to believe that we will not get gems. But the way this works is that you have to fight them, I think, in a row. Not sure if it's gonna be each of them separately or them in a row or something like that. Uh, as the date comes closer, I'll be discussing more of this. But you have to, you know, when you use a sync pair already, you cannot use it again. And you can repeat, and repeat, and repeat. The more times you repeat, the better rewards you get. If you're wondering where those deluxe cookies, or, you know, we get new lucky skills and all, where the deluxe cookies come from, that basically is repeating these stages and you can get them for the repetition rewards or whatever you want to call them but sadly we do not get gems from the legendary gauntlet but we do get a lot of lucky cookies including the new ones now we also have battle villa coming back on january 6 ends on january 19 we get 2000 gems for finishing hall 30. now one thing um there will be a skip function in battle villa now I will not try to skip function. I'm gonna play through the battle villa. The game has been saying that you will not get some bonus presence or something if you use the skip function. So I'm not sure if you actually skip battle villa to a high stage, if you can get 2000 gems or not. No, I'm not sure, but that's that guys. So if you skip, I cannot assure that you can get 2000 gems. Maybe yes, but why skip? It doesn't exactly take a lot of time. I mean, you're skipping the easy stages, which take very short amount of your time anyway. So, Battle Villa, 2,000 gems for finishing Fall 30. And then, we have the main story villain arc, Sinnoh. I'm proud of how that text came out. Earlier, I was like, watch some Photoshop magic. I'm going to try and replicate how how the text effect is done in the official teaser or something of Pokemon Masters Twitter and Facebook pages and I'm honestly happy how it turned out. Anyway, starting January 13, we have the main story Villain Arc Sinnoh and these are the amount of gems that you can get, 170 gems and if you're wondering, if people are wondering, what is with Darkrai? Well, Darkrai is gonna be paired up with Cyrus. Cyrus and Darkrai. Now, is it possible that we will get Cyrus in the future with Darkrai? Of course it is possible. Who knows? The game has been throwing us so many different sync pairs. Everything is possible now. The game wants to eat up all your gems, you know. The more gems we receive, the more sus it is. Next, special rally. We have two special rallies. We have one on January 7 until 13. We have another one on January 20 to 30. Again, as I said, sus. The more the game gives us, the more sus it is. Wait, 7 to 13, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Is it January 20 to 30? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. January 20 to 30. So that's 10 days. And the other one is 7 days. Wait, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 11 days. 11 days and 7 days. So basically, you use 900 or 2,500 stamina for 900 gems. Times 2, 1,800 gems from the double special rally, which is sus, but at the same time good if the game does not have any ulterior motives for this one. And then here comes the fun part. Dreams of the Void login bonus, J 
January 13 to January 29 gives you 1,000 gems, 10 gems, or 100 gems in day 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13. New Year login bonus. The time when the game gets becomes very generous that it's pretty sus. Because lots of sync pairs coming. I tell you guys. I tell you. We're gonna have more sync pairs on January. I'm, I'm sure of it. You can count on it. And then February, February, there's gonna be the 2.5 year anniversary. So expect a master fair to come out on February. Anyway, day one, log in, you get 3,000 gems. Day two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 300 gems per day for a total of 3,000 gems again. And on day 13, you get 1,000 gems for a total of 7,000 gems from the New Year's login bonus. Nice number. 7,000 gems between January 1 to January 15 or if you log in every single day, which you should, January 1 to 13, you get 7,000 gems. And then, to celebrate the arrival of Pokemon uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, or Arceus, however you want to pronounce that, we have the Celebrate Pokemon Special Giveaway. Starts on January 28 to February 6. Day 1, you get 500 gems. Day 3 and Day 5, you get 100 gems. And Day 7, you get 200 gems for a total of 8,900 gems for these login bonuses. Now, we're not yet done. We have the daily login bonus from January 1 to 31. I computed this, counted where the st stop on the 7-day whatchamacallit list. And we can get a total of 2,000 gems from this one from January 1 to 31, continued from the December 1. Daily missions, do your daily missions every single day. Do your daily scouts. Use stamina, 200 stamina, I think. And then use... Uh, is it 100 stamina or 200 stamina? And then do, do your daily scout. Talk to a trainer in the Pokemon Center. 80 gems per day for a total of 2,480 gems. And then there's the weekly, monthly, and daily gift gems 620 gems per day or rather for the entire month of per day for the entire month on a day basis 500 gems for the weekly basis and 300 gems for the month of january for a total of 1420 gems add this up to the one that we got 8900 8, plus 5,900 here, you get a total of 14,800 gems. Now, that is more like it. 14,800 gems. 14,800. So, Battle Villa gives you 2,000 gems. Villain Arc Sino gives you 170 gems. Special Rally gives you 1,800 gems. And Special Login Bonuses give you 14,800 gems. Now, if you just jump through this page, jump through this part of the video, which pretty sure a lot of you did, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up right now. And, you know, as always, subscribe if you haven't, because these took me an entire day to do, and, you know, I know people just skip to the end of the video, and Makes me sad, <laughs> but at the same time, if you hit the thumbs up button, I'll be happy about that. So, thank you for doing that right now. And if we add these up, we get a total of 18,770 gems from these four. 18,770 gems, which is more like it because we're reaching the 20,000 mark just for these ones. But let us not forget that we have another 10,870 gems from earlier. And if you add this up, 
on the month of January, you get a total of. This is it. This is what you've been waiting for. Hit the thumbs up. 29,640 gems for the month of January 2022, not 2021. Now, here's the thing. Um, there's more, most likely, gonna be, you know, new events coming by the end of next month. So, keep in mind that this is not final. This is for this update only. But this is how many gems you can get on the month of January. And I hope you appreciated this video because it took forever to do. But... If, don't forget that we have computed how many gems you can get starting tomorrow slash later. And if you add this up to the 8,360 gems that we have computed, add that up to 29,640 plus 8,360, we get a total of such a nice number, guys. Exactly, exactly, 38,000 gems. This is rare. <laughs> uh, you know, part of me is kind of wondering if I made a mistake somewhat, but no, we get exactly, exactly 38,000 gems. Nice. Nice. And you know, the game might suddenly give us Apollo Gems. The game might suddenly give us a community event, community rally, retweet rally, blah, blah, blah. If those are the cases, well, add them up. If there's a mistake somewhere, you know, where to find it in the pin post. But this is how many gems we can get starting tomorrow slash later, depending on what time you're watching this. But I posted this on December 22, Asia time. And nice number. This is more than enough. A pull. This is more than enough to give you, you know, able to reach scout points for any banner that you pull for. But... You know, as, as I was saying, New Year units, good, pretty good. I'm gonna analyze them. But they're only, end, you know, they start on uh, January 1, exactly both of them, ends half of January. Meanwhile, what's her name? Renegade Cynthia ends on February 27, I think, or 28. So she's gonna stay for a long, long, long time. You're free to wait before deciding to scout or not. But let me tell you guys that 2.5 year anniversary is coming on February. End of February, 2.5 year anniversary. So if you want to save up your gems, might be a good idea if you want to scout for Palantine Sync Pairs. Well, new Palantine Sync Pairs on February as well. And there's nothing more I can say except, you know, spend your gems wisely. Good luck on your Sync Pair Scouts. And, you know, record your videos. I want to react to your pulls. And if you get shafted, well, let me react to them as well. Because they're fun to watch, especially for the big whalers. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was this end number, this end result was so satisfying to see. And if you enjoy this, again, subscribe if you haven't. And become a member of my channel. Get that Pokeball icon beside your name. And you know, you're supporting a good cause. Because I work on these videos every single month and it takes forever to do. So, thank you to my awesome members. You guys are awesome. Shadow Phil and Nick, I think, already have exceeded 
one year. I think you guys are at 13 months already. So thank you so much for your continued support. Thank you also to um, Aryan. Oh wait, Aryan. Yeah, Aryan. You have exceeded one year already. Congratulations. Thank you so much to all my other members. Thank you, Marcella. Thank you, Blaze, John 909, Pop Deal Gaming, Roy Ackerman, Luca Midi, Armacose, Pop What Visual, Chrome Dome, Sassari Umbreon, Blue Rose, Ranger. You guys have changed your names so many times that I cannot keep track of your final names. Yeah, that's it. That's all I want to say. Again, if you want to share this video, help out the channel even more, go ahead, do so. Leave a comment in the comment section because that also helps with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Stay tuned for my sync analysis of Renegade Cynthia New Year Latin, no rather, New Year Volkner, New Year Sabrina, and Lucas, who is finally coming. In the next coming days slash weeks. But with that said, this Sol also known as SPL Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt. Your artist team's called Grunt. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Right.